Hello guys and welcome to another episode of The Hobby Peeps. Through this series of episodes I'm going to be teaching you how to solve the 3x3 Rubik's Cube. I'm going to be teaching you it in steps. First I'm going to teach you the notations that you're going to need to solve the rest of the Rubik's Cube. And I'm going to teach you the first step which is getting a cross. So let's get to it. Right so the notations for the cube are very easy. The face that's facing you is known as the front face. The face to your right is known as the right face. The face on the top layer is known as the upper layer. The face on the left is known as the left layer. The face on the bottom is known as the down layer. And the face on the back is known as the back layer. When you see an algorithm, it'll have things like right, left prime, back prime, to you, things like that. And this means is, for example, if we take the right face, then right, which will be shown as a capital R, will be turn the right face clockwise 90 degrees like that right prime which will be shown as a R capital R with an apostrophe will be turn the right face anti-clockwise 2R will be turn the right face twice and it's the same for all the others so left would be turn the left face clockwise left prime would be turn the left face anti-clockwise 2L turn it twice and so on right so a little bit more about the Rubik's Cube so we can tell what color each face is going to be for example I know this face is going to be the blue face because the centerpiece is blue this one's going to be the yellow face because the, the centerpiece is yellow this one's going to be red because the center face, centerpiece is red this one's going to be green white orange and so on Right, so our first step of solving the Rubik's Cube is you need to pick a side. So I'm going to choose the red side. And what I need to do now is I need to find one of the red side pieces or an edge piece. And I need to put it onto the bottom layer like that. That being the top layer, this will be the bottom layer. And I need to turn it so that the other colour on that piece, which in this case is yellow, should be under it. And then I turn it twice, known as 2F, so that that piece is on the top layer. And now what I do is I do an algorithm because this needs to be flipped, this piece, so that the yellow will be here and the red will be here. And that algorithm is front prime, up, left prime, up prime. And now that's being flipped and they are in the right place. So if we find another piece put it on the bottom layer you can see the other piece on this piece is blue so we put it under the blue layer turn it twice so we do 2F and that's in the right place like that find another piece here put it on the bottom layer put it under the other colour like that do 2F then it needs flipping again so what we're going to do is we're going to do F prime up left prime up and then that is in the right place and then the next piece which is here turn it twice like that needs to be flipped again so we do front prime up left prime up prime and then that's in the right place and we should have a cross in the middle of the in the color that you've chosen like that and these colours here should be all lined up with the corresponding colours like that right so that's the first step done thank you for watching I hope that it's helped you if you want to see the next episode and get the next step done to solving the Rubik's Cube just click this link right here and then we'll show you the next step um, but if not just watch this video again and memorise what's going on and then you should be alright and should have completed the first step Right, that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Peeps out.